Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Reapy Ron, and today I'm going to be going over how to level up quickly in Killing Floor 2. Uh, some people have asked me about this, and if I have a video explaining it, I don't, but now I will. So this will be a video I can point to. So when starting out Killing Floor, everybody wants to level up quickly because they want to try out whatever weapons are good with the class and whatever perks that they get that might make them really strong. Uh, a good example of this would be like Berserker starting out fairly weak, but getting extremely strong uh, as they level up where you don't really have all that much going for you at the start because you're using melee weapons, you're kind of slow, you don't have any real bonus tankiness, um, and then once you hit maybe level 15 or so, then you're pretty much good to take on absolutely anything. You can take on the hardest difficulty at level 15 with Berserker. Uh, other classes start out really strong, but then just kind of scale reasonably well as they level up. So the quickest way that I've found to level up is by going into the endless mode. Going into Endless, playing at the highest difficulty that you are comfortable playing at. Um, I would recommend to anybody that's not very comfortable with the game at all yet, to at least start on the hard difficulty uh, rather than the normal difficulty. You will get a lot more experience playing on the hard difficulty than you will on the normal difficulty. Uh, it will also go by a bit quicker. If you're in Endless and you're playing on PC, you can also download um, custom maps in the Steam Workshop and then you can go off and play them. Some of these maps will give you a huge advantage because they're very large, very open, so a lot of classes like uh, Sharpshooter really like those maps. You might be able to find a lot more weapons on the custom maps to go and sell them and then get whatever your strongest weapon is. If you're on console, you can't use custom maps, but you can still use um, regular maps so I would recommend any big open map like uh, nuked or infernal realms um, any map like that where you have a lot of room to move around in it's fairly easy to not get confused as to where you're going um, just go to each of those whenever you get defend the area I would say go and try to defend the area if you feel comfortable with it and I would also say if you're playing endless go to either wave 10 15 or 20 and then reset start again. Every five waves there's going to be a boss and that's where you're going to get the majority of your experience from playing Endless. Bosses in Endless do start out weaker and then get stronger the more you fight them. So a boss at wave 5 is much easier than a boss at wave 25. And once you start hitting about 25 and higher it's usually not worth going for because the rounds become much longer uh, there's a higher chance that you will die on these maps. You can get rounds that are difficult for you like you can get the weekly rounds so you can get uh, Bobble Zed, where Zed have a lot more health. You might get a wave full of crawlers, and if you're playing Sharpshooter, that could be problematic. Uh, you might get a Husk Wave, which is pretty difficult to survive. You could also just keep going until you get really, really strong bosses where it takes forever to kill them because their shields are so massive uh, that you're just hoping to get Han so that he can stab you and that you can at least kill him re relatively quickly compared to the other bosses. So. In short, play Endless to either wave 10, 15, or 20, maybe 25, and then reset the map. This is going to be fastest if you're doing it solo rather than if you're playing with other people. Uh, maybe one or two other people wouldn't be so bad because you can all communicate through something like Discord and then tell everybody to skip the round uh, or skip the pod. That way you don't have to wait the full minute for the pod to tick down. Uh, especially on custom maps, it's not necessary on a lot of them because there's pods very close by or sometimes it's just the entire map. You can access the pod no matter where you are. So that is the general way to level up quickly. There are a couple other ways you can level up fairly fast. Um, if you're playing short four rounds um, on the highest difficulty on a pretty decent map uh, in solo, you can also level up fairly fast that way. This works for most classes. The one class that Playing solo doesn't really help out all that much is Medic. Medic benefits much more from being with a team because you get a lot more experience just from healing allies. So in if you want to level up Medic, I would recommend playing online games with other players. That way you can level up quicker. You can do it solo, but it is going to be slower. That's just kind of how Medic is, so that's one exception. There is another exception too, and one that I've kind of heard and sort of played around with. You'll see clips of this. That is going into the objective mode in solo and playing uh, Biotics Labs as the Berserker. Um, you want to set this to hard. I tried playing this on Hell on Earth and doing it and it didn't work out. Um, it does work on hard. I didn't try suicidal and I'm certain it'll work on normal. Find a corner and just hold down your heavy attack button. Hold down the heavy attack button for your Kroval and just hug a corner outside of the uh, defending zone. 
this makes it so that there's an endless wave of spawning enemies in the first round of the biotics lab. Um, these will all be lower level enemies. There won't be anything real strong. The strongest things in this will be bloats. And if you're holding in the heavy attack in the corner, uh, you will keep killing them and you can gain experience that way. Um, you could potentially also do this with a rubber band wrapped around your controller. That way you can hold the button down so you can keep swinging. If you're on PC, you could also do a, uh, a quick search for a mouse clicker um, download of some sort and then just have it set to your right mouse button and just pretty much holding it down. That would be an option as well. I did notice when I was doing this, enemies kind of do push you around though. So you might eventually be knocked out of the safe zone that you're in and then you will eventually die. Uh, for this, with my Berserker, I was running Skirmisher at level five, uh, Vampire at level 10 and uh, Resistance at level 15 just to have the most amount of tankiness and health regen that I could have. That way I'd be sure that I could survive the longest. I think that this would work out if you just really didn't have that much time to play Killing Floor and you wanted to level up a class quickly, like Berserker. You might be able to do this with Survivalist too, depending on which weapon you get and if you're level 10 to have a melee expert. You won't have the health regen though, so you will have to heal every once in a while that way, but you could do it. So ultimately that's the way that I would recommend leveling up quickly. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys did and you're not subscribed, be sure that you get subscribed. That way you get notifications whenever I post any of these videos. I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to all of you guys next time. Till then, stay cool and bye.